Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III motivates us and encourages us to simply just pray for the glory of God. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in over 25 foreign countries. He is the president of Gospel Light Society and Torch Ministries International. Now here's your host, Daniel White III. Welcome to another Prayer Motivator Devotional Broadcast. Broadcast number 280. As always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled Mercies by my daughter Daniela White. Lord, thou hast in grace led my life until now. Uh, for thy blessings I thank as at thy feet I bow. Lord, help me to daily strive in thy great mercy to grow, to be alive to thee alone and dead to the world below. Lord, the best worship I bring for mercies from day to day. Teach me to love thy word. Lord, teach me how to pray. Uh, our prayer motivator verse for today is Psalm 65, 2, which reads, O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Allow me to share with you some commentary on that uh, short verse from Matthew Henry. The psalmist here has no particular concern of his own at the throne of grace. He gives God glory for hearing prayer Praise waits for thee, and why is it so ready? Because thou art ready to grant our petitions. O thou that hearest prayer, thou canst answer every prayer. For thou art able to do for us more than we are able to ask or think. And thou wilt answer every prayer of faith, either in kind or kindness. It is much for the glory of God's goodness and uh, the encouragement of ours that he is a hearer of prayer and has uh, taken it among the titles of his honor to be so. And we are much wanting to ourselves if we do not take all occasions to give him his title. For that reason, we are ready to run to him when we are in our straits. Therefore, because thou art a God hearing prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Justly does every man's praise wait for thee, 
because every man's prayer weighs on thee when he is in want or in distress. Whatever he does at other times. Not only the seed of Israel uh, come to thee and the proselytes to their religion. When thy house shall be called a house of prayer to all people, then unto thee shall all flesh come and be welcome. Our prayer motivator quote today is from John Trapp. He said, To an effectual prayer, there must concur the intention of the mind and the affections of the heart. Else it is not praying, but parroting. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator devotional today is part seven of our series titled Asking Really Fulfills All Other Specific Conditions of Prayer from Dr. John R. Rice. Ask according to God's will. This is another requirement or condition for answered prayer. First John five fourteen and verse 15 says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. And that is a wonderful promise, but to mock you, God is talking here about knowing, not about believing. Any Christian who knows that he is asking just what God wants to do and asking according to his will knows that God hears him and that he already has the petition he desired of God. And if you reach in some particular, uh, and rather if you reach in some particular, this wonderful condition of absolutely knowing that you are asking according to God's will, both as to the what and the how of your prayer, that is a wonderful confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, take care that you are not discouraged. If you do not have such absolute confidence, for the scripture does not say that those who do know, rather do not know, that they are asking in accordance with God's perfect will, will not receive anything of God. Asking according to his will is the perfection of asking. It is true that if we ask something clearly contrary to the will of God, we should not expect for that which we have no reason to believe is against God's will. We should expect to receive our request. God gives us all he can give and do that which is right. And now, friend, it is time for us to pray with confidence according to the will of God. Remember, the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Holy Father God, we pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for allowing us to witness and to see another day. We thank you for your holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the gift of thine Holy Spirit and for your holy word. And for all of the many manifold blessings 
that you have bestowed upon us. Lord, we individually confess our sins and our failures and our faults unto you. For Jesus Christ's sake, as your people, please forgive us of our sins. We know that sin is not your will and that sin will block our prayers being answered. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the healing of this nation. We pray for your salvation, leadership, wisdom, guidance, and direction of this president and all governmental officials who run this country and other countries. We pray for the revival of the church. We pray, Lord, for three million people, over three million people to come to know your Savior through this ministry alone. And Holy Father God, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for all pastors and missionaries and, and evangelists who stand for you. Truly, Lord, save them, bless them, lead them, guide them and direct them uh, and protect them to do your will in these last days. Holy Father God, we also pray now for three people who have sent in prayer requests uh, through our ministry here at the Gospel Light Society. Lord, we pray for Polly, give uh, her strength uh, to and protect her. Uh, Pastor Yusef Nadakani from being killed in Iran is her request as well. Lord, we pray for Lisa in Stanford, West Virginia. Heal their sick daughter and bless her family. We pray for Mary in Nairobi, Kenya. Give her peace of mind and grace and strength in these last and evil days. Lord, we thank you for saving these people. Uh, Lord, Holy Father God, we pray for uh, Danielle in Massachusetts, Yerid in Bello, Columbia, and Raul in Medellin, Columbia. Lord, we pray that you would uh, encourage them in the faith and fill them with your Holy Spirit, teach them your Holy Word, help us to do our part and discipling them, help them to find a good Bible-believing church where they are. And Lord, we pray that you would surround them with your holy protection, rebuking bind the devil and his demons and his host from these young saints. And Lord, we pray for the following people who have rededicated their lives to you. We rejoice with them in their decision to come back to you and to serve you, we pray that you would uh, indeed uh, revive their souls and help them to be faithful. We pray for Norma in Pontiac, Michigan, Nalom in Indonesia, and uh, Leonessus in Malaysia. We pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and for his sake, amen. Now, dear friend, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, uh, your first prayer needs to be what we call the sinner's prayer. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, uh, your salvation today, please pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, congratulations on doing the most important thing in your life, and that is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. 
For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do, what to do after you enter through the door. Until next time, remember, my friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.